What's up, everybody? Welcome, Squad Squad, and welcome to Slav Guns. We are here at SHOT Show Media Range Day, and I'm here answering one of your most popular questions. And honestly, one of the things that's kept me up at night is what happens with Russian ammo. So I went, decided to go straight to the source, and we are here with Charles Brown, the big Mac Daddy of MKS, who also uh, owners of High Point and importers of Barnell Ammo, which is fantastic ammo and one of my preferreds. So Charles, let me ask you a question. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. And the question is, obviously we know what happened a couple of months ago. There was a new executive order banning all Russian ammo coming in. How is that gonna impact? What's your ticket? And I thought Russian AKs never jam. <laughs> Let's try to get. So one of the questions people have is what's gonna happen going forward? How does it apply? And are people really gonna be screwed in the future? Well, the answer is yes, yes, and probably. Uh, let's go back, though. Um, when the order came through, um, a lot of people don't know it, but we have to have an a, approval on a Form 6. So a Form 6 has an expiration date of two years. When we found out the ban was coming, we threw in a bunch of new Form 6s to uh, help augment our, our supply, and those are good for two years. Um, in two years, we're not totally sure what's going to happen because we need to get some clarity from the administration it may also include components and if it includes components then the easy route would be for the russians to send their ammo somewhere else and have it reloaded to keep the price down and import to the u.s we don't know if we can do that yet or not so yeah that's where the yes and maybe come in we really don't know because the biden administration has not given us clarity on this situation they're kind of avoiding the the conversation like they do a lot of things so as a business owner, I'd think if you know something's coming down the pike, and my understanding is it's you can still put in all the orders before that date and anything that was approved, you're still good. So hopefully I'm assuming that most of the company, you've bought up as much as you can. So how long is that going to last us? And I guess, do we think that there's going to be a solution to this longer term? And the follow up to that is, are there any cal calibers that are going to be more impacted than others? Uh, obviously. Obviously, the calibers that are going to be impacted the most are the typical Russian military calibers. So 760 by 39, 5 for 5, 760 by 54. Right. All those calibers will be highly impacted. I would expect, you know, realistically, I would think some other countries would step up, maybe uh, Serbia, Turkey, um, some of the other countries over there that have some ties, yeah. um, may buy some of the equipment. Um, I really don't think it's realistic to think that any U.S. company will bring equipment here and be able to make the ammo. Number one is good, and number two is cheap, because that's what sold it in the first place is, is the cost. Um, to bring it to U.S. and make it labor and U.S. materials, it's, it's going to be 10% less than brass instead of 40% less than brass. So conceivably, I don't think that's real, a real solution to the problem. We, we have to have it made in Europe you know, uh, by and supported by Russian uh, products. Obviously, now that we know there's kind of like an endpoint and there's going to be uncertainty, what's the outlook on price? Because it seems like so, it's like at first it was impacted. Now it seems like it's coming back down to reality. Do you as the distributor, as the importer, have anything kind of to say about it, kind of prevent the price gouging? Well, we, we have saw uh, the seen the price come down to a more uh, palatable level now. Um, I think as we approach that expiration date, we'll see prices start going back up because people are going to start hoarding again. I think we probably have another nine months before that happens. So what would be your advice to gun owners and especially gun owners who are used to, I mean, let's say two, two, three, you can cut, you can kind of get by with it. Yep. But if you have, let's say five for five by 39, I guess you'd probably be screwed there. But what about like some more common stuff like, let's say six, five Grendel, seven, six, two by 39. And 6.5 Grendel, even though it's an American caliber, it's based off the parent Russian cartridges. I know it's very popular in Russia, and some of the best 6.5 Grendel ammo is actually this stuff. The Barnell 6.5 Grendel, it's really good stuff. Yes. We were so actually, what's the advice? Yeah, we were actually, in the, that, that really hurt when you said that because we were actually in the very final stages of, of finalizing our 6.5 uh, Creedmoor. Ooh. For the U.S. government or for the U.S. product, you know, consumer by, made by Barnall in a steel case, it would have been 60% less than the brass out there. 
And, and I mean, we were weeks from that when that order came down, and now we can't even get a Form 6 because we don't have any, you know, didn't have any information on it. So. And talking to a lot of my Russian YouTuber friends, they were like, they got the 6.5 Freedmore ammo. They loved it. I'm like, ooh, we're going to have this here. And they're like, yeah, you're going to get it, and you're probably going to get a better price. And you just yeah. burst my bubble. Sorry, it's not going to happen. <laughs> you know, we had several other calibers in, in, the, in the making, you know, to bring in and introduce actually here. And it just didn't happen. So. so what would be the advice for gun owners of those calibers right now? Well, keep buying it, uh, keep shooting it, and uh, as we approach that expiration date two years from now, it's going to get tighter and more expensive, so use your best judgment on what you want to do. All right, so there's your up there's your official update on the Yeet right. Cannon, and that was the good slash bad news on ammo. So if you have those niche calibers, go out, buy as much as you can, and honestly, Barnell Ammo, it's fantastic stuff. As always, guys, Char Charles, thank you for having Very me at the much. show. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll have the next video, and I'll see you in the next video linked up here.